It's a great honor to be here today, and thank you very much for including me in the, the activities of today's events. Um, thank you, Dr. Singer, for the wonderful introduction. <laughs> um, I feel like being invited today is uh, not only an or honor, but a huge responsibility to uh, represent Canadian students, um, both from the medical perspective as well as from the scientific perspective. Um, I believe that Canadians ought to be involved in uh, participating, improving the lives of people outside of our country. And uh, I have been very fortunate to have had the chance to work both in Canada and more importantly outside. The invaluable opportunity introduced me to the concept that with knowledge comes the responsibility of sharing the knowledge with others. Here in our country, most people live in relative peace with shelter, free health care, and opportunities for infinite education. To me, this translates to an obligation for those of us who have the competence and ability to offer skills to those lacking such fortunes and establish ways to drive change where it is appropriate. My expertise thus far has been in the realm of basic clinical science. Um, while I was in Oxford, I had a chance to work uh, with groups in Guinea-Bissau and Gambia at the Medical Research Councils, where I was there for, for, a, for a period of four years. And during the time of research, the initial first year in, involved setting up a laboratory, as you can see um, on the screen. Um, the first 12 months was a tremendous effort of working together with engineers and plumbers and transport systems and malfunctioning ferries and 4 by 4s And um, in the end, we were able to create a laboratory in a part of the world ranked among the five poorest countries in the world. And I just want to show you a slide of what that actually entailed. Um, what you can see is that the journey involved crossing into Senegal and Guinea-Bissau, crossing what looks like international borders, which <laughs> were somewhat dubious at times. Uh, and in order to work in places like Gambia and Guinea-Bissau, you needed to participate in local um, ceremonial sacrifices, sacrifices. So when we started working in Cayo in this tiny village in Guinea-Bissau, one of the things we had to do was sacrifice pigs and cows, and uh, that was one of the pigs that we had uh, acquired at, on our journeys. Um, so having done all this, would, while publishing papers and having found out a little bit more about how HIV-2, which is what I was focusing on, contributes to disease non-progression and how that can be used as a model for HIV vaccine development, the most important thing I think I get got out of the entire experience was working with the people in the developing countries. And I just think as part of the responsibility that, that we have and that I have is trying to share that um, knowledge with people here in Canada and then allowing people in the developing countries to be able to participate in, in the wealth of knowledge that we have here. Um, Today, as uh, Dr. Singer mentioned, the Grand Challenges Canada is proposing a call for young scientists and I think this will provide a fresh opportunity for um, how to approach idea or issues of inequality that have been around for centuries. Uh, for me, this means that uh, knowledge will need to be tra uh, transferred from us to the developing world and vice versa so that we can learn from each other. Um, and I think that one day at a time, one life at a time, we'll be able to get a little bit closer to approaching the Millennium Development Goals. Thank you very much.